Yeah, I, I just want to fill my car up with some gas, please. And uh, wash it as well. What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Lock Fitness. You're joining me in the slums right now. In the slums. No, I'm just kidding. So on today's video, I'm doing a full day of eating on the vertical diet. I'm having to vlog with my phone camera, which is really annoying. I need to get like a tripod for it or something because I'm literally just holding it at the moment. But I'm trying to get videos out as frequently as possible. Um, hopefully one every week is the aim at the moment. So yeah, today's video is a full day of eating on the vertical diet. If you don't know what that is, that's a diet made by Stan Effedring. And basically it's a diet to help you put on weight. Obviously that's all dependent on calories in, calories out, but more nutrients den nutrient dense food. And um, sorry about the hair, it's fucking sweating constantly today. It's really hot. So yeah, basically it's nutrient dense food. Um, no junk food, nothing like that. Easy digestible food. So I'm filming this after I've had two meals so far and I've bench pressed. So you'll see those after this, but now it's time to get in the gym and hit the accessories. See you in there. And when I said slums, guys, I meant slums. Wow, it's bad in here. I wonder if anyone wants to pause the video and fucking find something. I'll only find a dirty thong in there. So I just realized, guys, I was looking at myself on the camera the whole intro. So got to get used to that on the old iPhone. I definitely will be getting a tripod. So basically this is where I eat a lot of my food. If you see on Instagram, you'll always see there's bed sheets there. That's because I just take it up here, I'm sitting on a chair. It's like I'm at a table. I put the TV on there, or I can get a YouTube video on. All right guys, next up, three scoops of whey protein. So I saw this cranberry juice is in the vertical diet, so I picked that up, only 70 something P. Gonna get that down whilst training. Give me all you've got If you're prepared to break the silence I'll be out in the sunshine Running beside the lions I've been feeling down, but I've been looking up Workout meal we got 300 grams of steak, 200 grams of sweet potato, 40 grams of cheese, thick piece of cucumber, and two carrots. Hiya! Oh, yeah. Next meal we've got two bass of fillets, we have 40 grams of cheese, and 250 grams of white rice. And yes, I am using the same bowl. You ain't gonna do anything about it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. That's all the meals done in the vertical diet. It came to about 2,200 calories, so uh, it's not great for me. That's cutting calories, so I'm definitely going to have to throw some of my own food in right now, which I will be doing. I'll be having four bagels and peanut butter on each one. That'll be about 1,400 calories, uh, if not more. And I'll be having four cans of rice pudding, which is a thousand, no, three cans, sorry, of rice pudding, which is a thousand calories. And only like eight grams of fat, which is really good macros. One of my keys, if you want to bulk for cheap, thousand calories for 60p. Can't go wrong with that at all. My shoulder is aching really bad. 
Uh, I need to build up more muscular endurance to hold the phone or just invest in a tripod and somewhere to film it from. So that's what I'll be doing. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, anything else that I want to say? Any video requests, just drop me a message. Any ideas of videos that I can make, even if you don't want to see them, just drop me a comment or message. Um, Instagram is Gregor's Lock. Website is uh, greglockfitness.com. Uh, my email is greg at greglockfitness.com. And overall, yeah, the vertical diet isn't uh, exactly a challenging diet for anyone to follow. In fact, it's quite easy. It's uh, very similar to what I eat anyway. If not exactly what I eat anyway, apart from I have oatmeal, which is a layer, but it has to be fermented oats or um, something like that, or left overnight, soaked oats or something, I can't remember. Um, to be fair, the rice pudding that I'm about to have now is rice, and it's white rice, which is what's in the vertical diet. So I'm not sure if that is actually permitted for me to eat, and I'm still actually on the vertical diet. Um, with the bagels as well, Josh Bridgman's first meal was bagels and jam. So then I watched his video and I thought, hmm. Then I looked at the vertical diet and it says no bread, but uh, maybe he's the same as me. You can't get all the calories in. I mean, steak's expensive and spending... Well, eating numerous pieces of steak each day is going to come to a lot of money over time, isn't it? So I think for me, it's easily doable. But in terms of affordable at the moment, it's not. And even if it was, I don't think I'd follow it anyway. I think eating that much red meat, I don't think it would be the most healthy. Throwing in something like chicken or tuna or whatever, um, a faster digestible meat is going to be a lot more helpful for your colon health, for example. But yeah, I'm sure everything in moderation is fantastic, especially if you are vegan. Don't watch this video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, it's been Greg Lock Fitness. No hate to the vegans, by the way. I've been vegan twice and both times six months. Greg Lock Fitness. Peace. So here's the last meal. We've got three cans of rice pudding. So that's 1,032 calories. And then we've got four bagels, and I'm going to put peanut butter on each one. And that's going to bring me to overall about 4,600, 4,700 calories. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.